Welcome to Troy, Alabama, as our three and one Tigers of Grambling State take on the one and two Trojans of Troy. First quarter action, second and long for GSU. Austin hits Higgins across the middle, and the running back fights his way for the first down. Then Charlie Brooks takes the handoff, goes up the gut for 10 yards, another Tigers first down. A few plays later, Austin drops back and hits gun on the curl. He picks up 15. Then CB23 continues to run hard, going left for a gain of 10. Next play, Austin threads the needle to Jackson for a nine-yard TD. 7-0 Grambling. Trojans take over. Jamarius Henderson takes the handoff, finds a hole, and finds his way for seven yards. Then Young drops back, and he scrambles out. He shuts the carry tackle, turns it upfield, and is pushed out after a 22-yard gain. A few plays later, Young keeps the option right, has tons of green in front of him. Mullins dives and trips him up. First and goal, Trojans. Next play, Young drops back, tries to scramble out. But big Anthony Mullins is there to get the sack. Second down, Henderson takes the handoff, bounces it to the outside, sheds the McCarthy tackle. Heron and Christmas miss, and Henderson falls into the end zone. What a run. We're tied at seven. But here comes Grambling. Austin drops back and throws it to Clark on the outside, but is picked off by Brown. That's the freshman's first interception in two games. It will lead to a Trojans field goal. Tigers offense back on the field, and the run game is taken over. Brooks goes up the gut for 10. Then Brooks takes it again, cuts it back right, then cuts it left and picks up another 10 yards. A few plays later, Alston would drop back and links up with DJ Clark coming open across the middle. He fights his way for 20 yards. Later in the drive, Alston throws it across the middle to Higgins. First and goal, Tigers. Next play, Austin would bowl his way into the end zone from four yards out. Grambling back on top, 14-10. Trojans go three and out, and Austin comes out running. The freshman QB picks up 12 on the option. A few plays later, Brooks takes the handoff up the middle, bounces off his blockers, and picks up 14. Then Higgins gets into the act. He goes up the gut, makes a cut, and picks up 13. Then number four takes the option. He cuts it left and picks up another 13 yards. First down, Tigers. Later in the drive, Higgins caps off the drive with this seven-yard TD run. GSU extends the lead and would go up at the half, 21-10. The G-Men defense is looking sharp today. Let's see if they can keep it up in the second half. Gramlin comes out throwing in the third. Austin connects with Salmon on the corner route for 16. Then check out the lane for Brooks on this run. The freshman back picks up 17. A few plays later, the passing game strikes again. Austin hits Clark on the curl, and he walks into the end zone. Tigers up 18. Trojans look to get things going. Young drops back and scrambles right. He drops his shoulder and picks up 12 yards. Then Henderson takes the option up the middle and gets hammered, but still picks up eight. The drive was stalling. The Trojans are on the punt, but it's a fake. Sumster throws a gorgeous pass to Jones. He turns it upfield, but gets rocked by Higgins, and it's a fumble. Paris recovers GSU ball, but check out this hit by the running back. Here comes the GSU offense. Austin drops back and hits Clark on the curl. He turns it upfield for a gain of 21. Later in the drive, number four would get his second TD on the day. Grambling running away with this one. Trojans next possession. Young drops back, tries to scramble out, but big Brandon Varner is there, and he gets his second sack on the day. Then the Trojans would try to set up a screen. But Josh Carey shuts it down for a three-yard loss. Three and out for Troy. Grandma looks to put a nail in the coffin. Also connects with Gunn for 12. Then the freshman quarterback would drop back. He feels the pressure coming towards him. He throws it up to Clark, but is picked off by Jones. That is interception number two for Austin. But the G-Man defense come out lit. Troy tries the screen again. But Carey lays the hat for the five-yard loss. It would lead to another three and out. Brooks looks to close the game. He bounces outside, makes a nasty cut, and picks up eight. A few plays later, Austin goes play action. Here comes the rush. He scrambles out right and then throws a dart to Clark for a first down. Then check out the moves by Higgins. He turns the corner, starts inside, bounces it outside, hits the spin move, and gets tackled at the one. Next play, Charlie Brooks gets into the end zone from a yard out, putting the nail in the Trojans' coffin. 42-10 is your final. Phil Austin finished 14-22 of 22 for 196 yards, two touchdowns, and two interceptions. The ground game carried us today. Brooks finished with 19 carries for a buck 47 and one touchdown. Higgins carried the pill 18 times for 88 yards and two scores, and Austin had 10 carries for 43 yards and a touchdown. Out wide, DJ Clark had a big day. Five grabs for 104 yards and one score. 
The G-Man defense balled out. Carey and Christmas both had 10 tackles on the day. Varner finished with two sacks, and Clark and Mullins both had a sack apiece. What a dominating performance by our G-Men, the most impressive win by far this season. Next up for the Tigers, they return home to take on Louisiana Monroe. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button and subscribe if you are brand new. Don't forget, hit those links down in your boy's description and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Big C Got Game. And we'll talk in the Tigers Den podcast. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Two fingers in the air. Peace.